So now let's talk about valid and invalid arguments. And we're going to look at an example. Determine whether the argument form is valid. So the argument form is going to be if p then q, if q then p, therefore p or q. So remember, one way we did this was through truth tables. And so we're going to use truth tables here. How many statement variables do I have? If I look, I see I have P and I have Q, so that means I have two, which means I'm going to have four rows in my truth table. So you start making your premises. So premises are everything before the last statement. This last statement was called the conclusion. So here I'm going to need to make if P then Q, the conditional, and if Q then P. So let's do first one, true, false, and then these other two are true. Now when you do the second one, you're going to have to look at the Q column first before you look at P. So look at Q is true, both true. Q is false, which means it's automatically true. True, false, so that would be false. Q is false, automatically true. Okay, and then we're going to make the column for P or Q. So true, 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 false. And remember, you have critical rows. So your critical rows are where your premises are all true. So you're going to look at this middle part here where I have my premises. Where are they both true? They're both true in the first row and in the last row. So remember, these are called critical rows, what rows that we've circled. And you look at your conclusion in those critical rows. And so if you notice this last critical row, the conclusion is false. And so because of that, we know that this argument is invalid. Now remember we also had some special types of argument forms. We had modus tollens. which had the form if P then Q, not Q, therefore not P, and it was valid. We had modus ponens, which had the form if P then Q, P therefore Q. This one was also valid. And then we had the converse error, if P then Q, Q therefore P. This one was invalid. And lastly, we had the inverse error. which had the form if P then Q, not P, therefore not Q. It was invalid. So those were the special argument forms that we, or arguments that we talked about, those four.